Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Tinker! Choose your hero. Prepare for battle. I don't know if three games is enough to really determine, you know, a, a true record like that. Just something, I, I still feel like anything can happen, yeah. but no doubt, Secret, they looked really good in that game number two. Yeah, it's just going to be tough. I think besides the Tinker, I mean, the, the draft, it already looks Secret favorite. I mean, they have, yeah. I, when I see a team that has like four stuns already, I just think the most amount of stuns usually wins the early game. And then you have a Lena CK Tide going into the late game, as well as the Yapzor ES. It, it just feels like Secret, once again, they have better player hero combinations, more stuns, more team fight. And I mean, that's kind of the Chinese way to play, which I mean, they've, they've been doing okay this season, but you just, you get the big team fight, you win the team fight, you win the game kind of thing. I'll say this about uh, not only this draft set we have here for both teams, as you yeah, a little bit of action at the boundary early on. It looks like three runes going the way of secret, by the way. Um, nice but this event in general, I, I love where Dota's at right now. I don't know if you feel the same, but as far as the diversity, we are seeing so many different heroes, it seems like from game to game. Again, usually we have some consistency with like the first couple of picks. It's It feels like it's been vastly different from game to game with these drafts. So yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, not only that, it's like Lena, you know, we get a last pick Lena, we've seen first pick Lena, just the, the drafts in general feel a lot less stale than before. Cause you know, like Rubik Bounty Hunter, it's gonna get first pick by secret, but luckily they ban one of those out and there you go, a whole new draft. There we go indeed. Speaking of that, uh, that shadow demon, Already started in the mid, at least. He's gone. Now he's going to the top lane. <laughs> yeah, you have Doom nearby, so Shadow Demon not really interested. Bottom lane, Fata. He's uh, getting a little low. I, it's it's a it's a tide hunter with a Kraken shell. Something tells me he's uh, I don't know. Actually, LeBron. Can they finish the job? No, Fairy Fire, and that'll guarantee the surviving there. But uh, plenty of damage to Tide. Yeah, they get him down. Obviously, he has the mangoes plus the tangos, so he does have that N8 regen plus he used the health potion, but still, that is, uh, using all his regen that early in a Titaner, that's pretty good, and that's what a Bane does. Obviously, Brain Sap, one of the best level one spells for fighting. Yeah, very, very effective support laning hero. Again, definitely uh, a pretty obvious statement, I know, but uh, again, more example as to why there. Yeah, so he's rotating to the middle lane on that Earthshaker. We'll see if Yapsor can make some kind of play. Only level one still, but... Of course, has that fissure. Uh, Courier is being sent back right now. He's trying to be patient. Uh, they do have vision in the area already with Ward being placed down. Can he cut off the Tinker? Tinker at half life. Dendi, he knows something's up. In fact, Doom's even coming over now. Oh, he got the health potion. First blood goes down. Fada does die again, but that was a super nice play by Yapsor. He actually waited for the health potion, and Yapsor did it like 0.5 seconds after it got popped, so. Uh, Dendi's not going to be having a good time. So we're watching that middle action, as you pointed out, though. Fata actually does go down. You know, the first death of the game for the first blood. Uh, earlier, that harassment, the lack of regen, so perhaps that coming in. But 
I mean, I know Bane's an annoying support and everything, but should Tide be dying at this early on? I mean, he, he wants to pull the creep way back, which he did end up doing. So giving first blood, I mean, that's always bad. It, it's never a good time to get, I mean, maybe you kill chicken, then it, it's even. But he did pull the creep way back more near his tower. So yeah. at least that's good. He will get experience. And, you know, early deaths still aren't the biggest thing. General on that Beastmaster, he had a fantastic game number two, even in the losing effort. So this game, the start's not nearly as effective. It is a one versus two. It definitely a different lane matchup. You know, the previous game, it was, uh, or excuse, yeah, and even in the losing effort, like I said, he yeah. obviously had a, a very favorable lane there. So they, they do get the counter ward there. You see Dendi actually uh, picks it up. So yeah, Absol's going to have a little less trouble, but Fada, he'll be okay this time. But man, he's level three. That's the thing, right? He mm -hmm. did give up that first blood, but now he has two in the Kraken shell. So LeBron is doing about five damage a hit. And with those mangoes, doesn't feel too bad. Poisons coming out on general. Already four stacks, by the way, Puffy. No mana to work with is going to be expending those poisons, nice. though. Any second right now, General going for the turn. There's the ex expanding of the poisons, and there's the kill. Ace even coming over with the reality rift to guarantee it. Bottom lane again, Fata. He's going to be delivered something in the process. I think it's his full wand, actually. It's all in purchase. That, the homing missile connects out that rocket barrage in the face. That Kraken shell not going to help enough in the end, perhaps. Popping the wand. Trying to stay alive. No LeBron damage. Dota, hero block in, puts on the nightmare. Can get a couple of attacks off himself during that, but Crystal Light is going to reset now to the rocket barrage. And it, I mean, I guess when you look at it from that perspective, it kind of makes sense how they're killing this Tidehunter. Yeah, they are. And I love that. The positioning, they get the, the rocket hit him before he got off Anchor Smash, and then over there with the Nightmare, you saw him position, so just he was getting hit. A uh, nice play right there. Dude, good start. I mean, Navi, they're, they're up two to one kills, but you already see the gold lead is going in Secret's favor. And that's because Puppy stole the top bounty runes. I, I love Puppy prioritized those bounty runes so much. And oh, I think yeah. that's a, a very big thing. Even without the experience, that gold is a lot. Roaming Doom being positioned for right here. He's got the Alpha of currently devoured. LeBron Dota, by the way, able to get through that fissure and actually pick up a penny ring in the process. So well played by him and manages to survive. What is your take on a Roaming Doom, though? How useful do you think it's going to be for Navi this game? I think it's fine. I think Infernal Blade is... I, I, it used to be underrated like six months ago, but I think that it does so much damage. And he already got the Wolf. You want to keep the Wolf almost the, the entire game. Like, okay. if he gets one crit with that Infernal Blade, that's that's half of Lena's HP. If Even he has a some, Roaming Doom, though? Yeah, like, not, it's, not it's the, a lot the of damage. anything like that. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. But that's a lot of mana, right? Like, all those uh, neutral skills cost so much mana. Meanwhile, you get free damage with your right clicks as well as the chance to crit. And yeah. versus someone like a Lena or even a Tide, it's so much damage. And Look at that puppy. The, the aura itself affecting teammates if they're nearby. Yeah. But yeah, puppy that's sees him. And that's a fourth of his HP with a level one Infernal Blade. It's really good. Damage coming out. So Shadow Demon going back to the top lane. Gonna, let's continue harassment on that uh, on that Beastmaster. Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on Shadow Demon? Because uh, personally, I, I liked Shadow Demon out for a little bit. He got, a, he got fairly good buffs. I want to say it was like four or five patches ago now. But we, we never really saw the hero take off. We still had our you know fairly standard supports for a long time. But Shadow Demon's seen here. He doesn't really do much. Like, you, you used to want in the, the previous patch, you wanted to get some. Oh, wait. General might be in a little bit of trouble. I don't think uh, with Ace coming over, yeah, it should be a kill. Yeah, disruption, creating the illusions, and they're just Blocked blocking him in. General can't even freaking move right now. Nice. That's got to be so frustrating, the reality rift. And uh, I think we saw that like two minutes ago, but yeah, it was the exact same thing. I just think Shadow Demon, he, he's one of those, I used to love him playing when I played him, obviously not professional. He's one of the few five supports who can get solo kills. Once he gets level six, yeah. you put someone under, you get that demonic purge plus four stacks. He's one of the few that like... He could easily solo kill like a gyro or something if no one else is around, which feels really nice. But besides that, he's defensive. But as God said, you have to get close to save people. And if you save someone, you're probably going to die yourself. So yeah. you don't see him as much because he's very sacrificial. Well, also as a, an illusion creator, of course, and yeah. uh, having that chaos. And I definitely hear that you wouldn't mind even creating more illusions oh, up. Yeah. So that's take advantage of Tidehunter running in, controlling the bounty runes once again. He hasn't died since that uh, death that happened earlier on, but now I'm finding himself jungling even, so Fata just Ooh. trying to make the best of the situation. But yeah, middle lane, they're wrapping around Lil. He gets hit by the disruption, though. He was not expecting this. They could turn this now. The Fissure will connect to LeBron. They secure the kill on him, so Lil actually will be fine. It's Bane that goes down, though. Yep, and Scorched Earth is on cooldown, so they get the kill, and they use one of the, the few abilities that can secure him kills on Na'Vi in this early game, and it's now on cooldown. The only thing, I, I think Navi really peaks at like 20 to 25 minutes. If Tide somehow has a bad Ravage, you, you can get three Gyro ultis off before his Ravage is like off <laughs> cooldown again. I think you really have to prioritize just being aggressive. Like make 
Fa to use a, a bad ultimate, and that's what puts you in a good spot. If Fa to just somehow gets a, a perfect Ravage, I think they're in a lot of trouble. They do have several counter initiation tools, though. Yeah. Ravage is, of course, arguably one of the best in the game. Echo Slam is pretty good, too. Yep. Now, he needs a blink for that uh, a little more than the Tidehunter does, of course, but still, once the Opsters gets that blink, and again, naturally, Tidehunter having that Ravage. So, it, it is going to be interesting. Yes, yep. managing the cooldown of the Ravage is nice, but if there's still an Echo Slam up, you still can't be over, you know, aggressive either because of that. Yeah. Look at that stack, though. Yeah, the stack's awesome. Obviously with the gyro, but you have to be careful because Tide is down there and Tide and Gyro, the, the two stack takers, as well as Lena. You might see Lena actually like rotate down bottom they and, spot and that, yeah. they get a kill and then Lena and Fada can clear it out together. I mean, that would be a super smart play. That could be a move from Secret. Middle lane matchup, by the way. You got a 40 and 7 Lena, 35 and 9 Tinker. So Dendi seems like he's. He's faring pretty decent right here. He's not dying, and that, that's the biggest thing. Like they said, you just want to get those, as Kyle said, you just want to get the Boots of Trials before tower drops, and he's going to probably get that Soul Ring, or does he already have it? He does, so Boots of Travel next, and I mean, he's, he's on a pretty good game right now. Gyro, Crystallize, I think we've had this conversation already this event. You, you've made the point, maybe you're not the biggest fan yourself, but as I was saying earlier, you know, CIS, European, Dota especially, we've been seeing this a lot as a priority build, going that Axe, speaking of the Gyro, running down mid one here in the middle. I don't think, I mean, that's a call down coming out. If it's done the time, it's not going to hit. In time, at least. Now the Fissure counterplay. Yeah, they go very deep for this great Fissure block from Yapcod. And now LeBron Dota's in a horrible spot. Can they at least get Jaro Copter out? Doesn't look like they're prioritizing the kill on him, in fact. And the Laguna Blade will say sayonara to the Bane as well. Great turn from Secret. Oh, and there you see mid one. He does, he drops all his items and uses the mango, mango. And he gets yeah. he gets 45% of his mana back after dropping the Nulls. And you Jeez. see why it's so good on those double Null heroes. But man, Yabzor, he was level two at eight minutes in. Gets one Fissure block. He's now level three, and he's in a good spot. Dendi. He has Ravage. They just popped the shrine. You mentioned he has Ravage. Oh. He's going to use an Ash. Yeah. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, Shadow Demon. He disrupts at the same time. Still but get him. They're still probably going to get him at least. Doom even trying to rotate over now. Of course, they killed Bane as well during this. They are going to lose her Shaker. And that will be it in a two for one turn. So our Puppy Secret. died as well on the backside. Did he? Okay. They yeah. also got Shadow Demon. So, yeah, it's, I mean, still priority for Secret. You know, we're killing, killing the uh, the Tinker right there as you're just getting yep. out. He hasn't died yet up until then. They also see the stack. You mentioned oh, this earlier. He's going to get it. Flanking. Yeah, it's going to be close, actually. He gets the last hits. Now, with her shaker coming over, Cryptolize has to be a little bit careful. He uses the call down for it, but now Doom's in trouble. Lil walking it off. No, the Dragon Slave actually missed right there. And he'll be fine. So I think Crystal Navi. has got most yeah, of it. Yeah, that's pretty good for Navi. The Doom doesn't die, as you see, and the Gyro as well gets most of that stack. So not too bad. And that was the first Ravage. And it, I mean, it, it got him the kill on Tinker, but. It was still a good ulti, but it wasn't like a great ulti. Yeah, especially with the uh, the miscommunication yeah. out there with the disruption timing. So Tinker, he is back in the middle lane, continuing farm. But Chaos Knight, a hero we haven't mentioned too much so far this game at least, is top in the charts. Ace, of course, playing it here for Team Secret. And last game, we were making the point, you know, he wasn't really the, the, the hardest carry. He went that Heaven's Halberd early on, understandably. Yeah. It, I don't think we're going to see it this game, though, right? No, uh, more than likely not when Tinker's like, you know, the the game changer, game winner. And I mean, Heaven's Albert doesn't really do anything to him. Nope. Could still work against Gyro, but I, I have a feeling we're going to see more of an S and Y. Pipe is pretty good against that hero, Tinker, though, I've heard. And uh, Tidehunter, of course, naturally a, a hero. Yeah, I wasn't suggesting Chaos Knight for, yeah. <laughs> for that one. You're good. I was uh, like, I, I know what he's saying. I know what this guy's saying. Tidehunter, though, yes, is naturally kind of a carrier for it. So that's uh, another reason why Tidehunter does make sense, perhaps, in the draft. Yep. As you see right there, there's a lot of stacks. Uh, medium camps, big camps, and ancient camps. So. Mm. Crystallize, if he gets those, I mean, he's going to boost himself for pretty far ahead if he ends up taking those. He does have to leave bottom, and no one's bottom right now. And for again, either team. going that axe on a gyrocopter will definitely incentivize much more earlier action. You could argue, like I also said, with the sieging especially, it, it is a great sieging tool with that hero. Uh, so maybe that's the idea, especially with Tinker, you know, kind of that 4-1 strategy. Look, but, look at this. Yeah, no one at the bottom, as you mentioned. They, they're all at the top lane, it seems like. Ace, the call down, going to hit him a couple times, but it's Navi that's on retreat. Puppy is going to catch somebody. With the disruption out, caught General right there, throwing out some poisons, but Navi huh. understandably keeping their distance. Yeah, in secret, they don't even have the Ravage up, but they're so scared right there. It looked like Yavsor might have been able to hit like a two-man stun, but I don't think they just they just didn't want to fight. Neither team, you, you don't know what's going to happen in a five-on-five -five team fight 11 minutes in. You yeah. rarely see it, and who knows who's going to come out on top. Dendi, though. Maybe if Secret knew he had no HP or mana, they might have gone there, but you, you never know, right? He of could course. just TP to the tower, and you're yeah. in a lot of trouble with those lasers. Ravage did just come off cooldown as if I was anywhere right there, by the way, but Puppy, I, I, see, whenever the, something like that happens, I mean, he was stacked? No, he wasn't stacking the Ancients, because it's just hitting 12 minutes now. I'm not even sure 
He just, died in neutral, so was that on per? It could have been on purpose. We don't know. The world may never know. Yeah, Anyways, it is what it is. He's dead for 10 seconds. You got Beastmaster working on the Necronomicon. As I say, that reality rift pulling. He absolutely there with the follow up fissure. The tower is still dealing damage as well. And with that medallion up, Ooh. that's going to be a kill in the end. Nice sharing stun. that wealth. I like it. It was only a one second stun, but Yapsor still timed it nicely where the tower was hitting. Because if he didn't have that last tower hit, that guy, he was just going to live. Mm -hmm. So nice, nice timing there. Drum almost for Lil. And he goes, he, he just gets the Seder creep. Yeah, the roaming doom. As you mentioned, the drum's just about finished, so haven't seen the doom itself come out just yet, as actually currently doesn't even have it leveled up, but... Um, it's about to hit six. Once mm -hmm. it hits so yeah, not even level six yet. But what target does he prioritize, you think? Is there like an obvious probably mid one. I mean, okay. in the fight, it's either going to be mid one if you somehow just gank him, you're just going to use it immediately. If it's like somehow a five on five team fight, I think Earthshaker or Lena. Or possibly even that CK just so he can't get anything off, especially if he goes the armlet build. So literally every year everyone, yeah, everyone, but everyone but Shadow Demon are tied, I think. It's it's gonna be one of those cases, yeah. The best case you know, with that I'm sure he's gonna go try to go for a shadow blade or a blink, one of the two, and you know, whoever he can get on on in the appropriate. Yep. I think you just you just want you wanna use it in a gank, not a team fight, right? You just wanna find someone, do him up, try to burst him down, and you're good with that. Yeah. There, boots of travel. Tinker does have it at 13 minutes, and guess what? There are no towers down, so. Yeah. Gonna get a little tougher to push those towers, naturally, with that march. But there is a Yule's Lena, so, you know, he finds a Tinker, throws him in the air. It's gonna be a lot of trouble. Probably dead as a result. Yeah, Yule's showing it off right there. Also, level 2 Laguna Blade just about picked up as well. Just about to hit level 12, so gonna head towards bottom lane and try to push out the lane, as we mentioned. It's still no tower kill. That could change, though. Pretty quickly, Gyrocopter, that Ags is, is coming up fast. He has 1,100 gold already saved up, point booster purchased. So only needs that 3,000 in total to finish it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just nervous so I'm now because you're, you're letting CK get whatever he wants up here. He's level 10, look at his HP. He, he has a ton of HP. The Lena you know as well as farming. I don't I don't know if Navi knows about all these stacks they made, but Lena has cleared a lot of stack camps. Mm -hmm. like, she is pretty damn rich, and look at Jeez. that. If, if they somehow get that with Tidehunter, you, you win a team fight, you get Middle Tower and the Ancient Stacks, you're in a pretty good spot. Armlet finished on Ace. So again, last game with that Halberd. Like we are talking about, don't really expect that this game. Tide Hooded Defiance, though, that is a big purchase. Now, it's not going to be a pipe right away. He gets the hood for himself. He's going to go blink next. I would expect probably the pipe after that, right? Yeah, uh, I think that's what you go for. And I don't know if you saw Beastmaster boar, but that boar is thick. I have not, I have not <laughs> seen that guy's meta before. That is a, a chunky boar. I'll have to check it out the next time I see right here. Fonts out. Oh, they're going to mute him up with the Doom Effect. Can't he cannot wrap it as a result, of course. They're going to sleep him. Gets taken off immediately. Nice. The rock barrage in the face. Support from Secret. The fish is thrown out, but that's a dead tight Oh, no, Dendi finishes it with a rocket. That, that's big. Yapsor almost got it with the enchant totem deny, mm -hmm. but Dendi instead. That's the best here you can get it on too. That was best case scenario for Navi. They just, it's not a team fight. They get it in a gank and they're, they're in a good spot. Helps think, when the hero walks right up to you. Yeah, exactly. That's not gonna happen often, yeah, but uh, wrong place, wrong time kind of deal. For now, Fata there. Now I think Yapsor is lost, man. That's crazy. He was level two the, like four minutes ago and he got all his levels, but uh oh, Doom's in trouble. Yes, he is. He is going to be locked down completely, it seems like. Primer Roar, though, in response. And now Lil doing as much as he can before he does officially go down. Meanwhile, Crystallize the Laguna Blade to the face with the Reality Rift pull, and he evaporates. Ace is managing to survive despite that March damage. They do lose Shadow Demon, but a two for one in favor of Secret in that fight. So even showing without the Ravage effect, they can still deal plenty if they yeah. catch up to them. Exactly, and he was just, he has Ravage up, but he's just pushing in middle. They know he didn't need him for the team fight, and man, those wild axes plus rockets, they, it almost killed two, they just threw him out twice each, and it almost killed everyone, but almost is not good enough. Okay, these ancient stacks on the Radiant side, I'm almost, it's like one of those things that's like great for Navi, potentially. Is that but, gonna stack again? No way. Get it? Oh, <laughs> barely. Nice try. That had to be so that's close. Dandy. Point is, though, it's still at 16 minutes like these massive stacks you were mentioning earlier the potential for stealing is huge from secret So I would oh, hope that Navi takes him out soon and as I say that yeah the flat cannon coming out They're at least gonna take out the left side. Yep, that's smart Yeah, if you somehow lose your stacks plus your tier one middle you, you, you I wouldn't say you lose the game, but you lose I mean you're getting close to it at that point, but luckily mm -hmm. crystallize They'll just clean this up and then Next time he has his abilities up, he'll just go and take the other stack. Well, he should have the axe after this, or it's going to be very, very close at that point. So again, naturally going to be nine him. That uh, will help him even farm more. 
That's good to see for Navi. You have the blink being worked on by Tide. Lil, he's going to be going to uh, Hannah Midas here on the Doom after the drums follow up. All right. Secure the lake. I mean, what, what other item really works for him? He already has the drums. Like, you could get something like a blink so you have better initiation, but I think these are just going to be like five on five in your face fights, not this like big positioning thing except for Tinker. I made the comment earlier about a medallion coming out, but that's why I saw the reality ripped uh, minus armor effect thinking for some reason. Somebody had a medallion, but no, that wasn't the case there on, on Chaos Knight, of course, yeah. with the armor lift first. And he actually had the Shadow Blade queued up on him. So I don't know if that's uh, something he is committing to or not, but how would you feel about a Shadow Blade? I don't have the greatest initiation until Yapsor gets his Blink Dagger, so I think it's fine. Attack, I mean, attack speed's always good on CK as well, so. Just being able to position and possibly get solo kills or just going one plus one with something like Alina, you're, you're gonna be in a great spun. Ooh, tier two tower getting pressured. Yeah, already. And again, I'm guessing the axe or it's okay. It's not finished yet. It's being delivered out to the gyrocopter. But again, once he has that, uh, that completed, even more sieging presence from Navi. Fata, speaking of sieging, he's going for the bottom tier one, and that should be a successful kill, but you look back at the top tier two in favor of Navi as they are continuing to push it as a team right now. Again, Jaro, I don't think he actually got the axe delivered to him, so I don't think he necessarily has it just yet. But anyways, proper war in defense, using it on the tight end. There's a homing missile as well. Remember, he has that Ravager trying to prevent him from going off. Caught him coming out. Fonte is like, I finally get it off right as he gets doomed. Damn. But he does his job. Ace, reality red pull, and they're going to finish off Lil Nat and Crystal Eyes. Doing a rock barrage, damage in the face of Ace. Has him to fall back. Mid one, very low. Does not want to re-engage, it seems like. Tight Hunter will survive the Doom effect. Ooh, LeBron. Tinker. Tinker's going in as well. They do pick off Tight Hunter. Denny's now here on top of that. Ace is low. The rocket's flying in. It's not going to hit Ace. It will hit Yapsters and Puppy, though. You see LeBron chasing another ro set of rockets coming out. Nice job with the disruption. Nice. Making sure to keep him alive, and Puppy will barely live himself. The fact that they only lose a Tight Hunter does seem pretty crazy. No, that's great. Uh, but even that, that, that's great for Navi, right? That's a That was a four-man Ravage, but they only got one kill, and the kill happened yeah. before the Ravage even happened, and that, that's a one-for-one one trade, but they're gonna get a tier one. Oh, this would be a big kill, though. Mid one. Oh, what a play. Crystallize hanging around a little bit too long. Obviously, they want revenge on the side of Na'Vi, nice. but he kills the creep that Tinker's going into, and so it stops. And LeBron putting the Fiend's grip on Puppy. Puppy disrupting them after the fact. They're just gonna nuke down Bane. And Secret definitely gets a last laugh of sorts right there. Yeah, like the, that was like the perfect fight for Navi before that. And then they lose their Bane. They lose Crystallize, like their, their biggest hero that they can't afford to lose. And fortunately, well, it goes from a great fight. It goes down a little bit, but they do get the tier two. So they have complete control of that, that upper jungle now if they get some wards down. They have the Beastmaster as well with the Hawk. That's true. Great vision presence here from Navi's side. And you see that level two Necronomicon even being delivered to the Beastmaster. Yeah, we didn't talk much either about uh, obviously Tinker plus Beastmaster can set up some pretty easy ganks. Yeah. Especially the, you know, keep you onto a Hawk, keep you onto a boar, you're in a good spot. They really are doing a lot of stacking right here. And Dendy's definitely feeling the farm as a result. Um, you mentioned earlier, you know, the boss picked up. Blink, of course, naturally next. He's in a spot now, though, where Tinker players, this is where it starts to vary a little bit, right? As far as yeah. the next item goes. Speaking of that, though, Yaps are taking an initiation from Tinker. They're so going. front damage, they are really going for this. Lil wants that kill, homing missile. So that nice. should finish the job. He even so, okay, the rocket will actually finish the job after the fact. Puffy also gonna end up falling, so Navi just going at Secret. I and love it seems this. like Secret, I mean, they're just trying to run. It's not working. That's exactly what has to happen, right? That Tide Ravage is on cooldown that you've called down twice during that entire thing. They've won two team fights now, and now they're gonna get a tier one out of it. Have about a 2K gold lead. Yeah. This is exactly what have to play. I think they, they have one more call down before the next big team fight with Ravage, but mid one is still, even with all these towers going down, mid one is the most farmed on the map. Gonna be the first one to 10,000 net worth. Like, scared. you're scared. Lena, CK in the late game with two big initiators and Echo Slam and Ravage. They have a lot of Aros to work with, though, too, on Navi's side. Not not only the Inner Ooh. Beast from Beastmaster, but of course you got Doom with the Alpha Wolf, which I'm guessing he still has. Yep. You have the Satyr that was controlled recently. They still have it from the Beastmaster as well. So. A uh, lot to work with, and they're going to easily get the Roshan as a result. This is going to be man. just on Jarrow Copter. This is big for Navi. Yeah, they are, they're, they're playing this perfectly right now. And now you do have to be careful. So there is an Aegis, or Aegis, pardon me, <laughs> and Tide Hunter does have Ravage. So I mean, there's next fight. If somehow Navi like just wins a, a big fight, ooh, yeah, they might really lose one now. For secret. That Centaur stomp, though, will prevent Fata initially, but they are going to burst down Bane quickly after the fact. The call down, keeping secret at bay, though from chasing further. So the Blink is actually gonna be picked up by Chaos Knight, by the way. Like. He does follow that up to his Echo Saber that he got after the armlet. 
Yep, now you can get in those back lines. Now you have someone who can actually get on top of that Tinker. You have the Lena with Shadow Blade, but once you show you have Shadow Blade on Lena, the Tinker's gonna play a lot safer. But now you blink forward, your illusions come with you, obviously. Once you reality rift, mm -hmm. you're in a good spot. Meanwhile, speaking of that bottom stack, still has been They were attempting it. They get a fair amount of them cleared up, but now Secrets made their way. Look at mid one, by the way. He's got that Shadow Blade active. It's going to be wearing off in a second, though, and he is not in the best position anymore. Gets out. He needs to get the hell on out of there as he does. So, yeah, they, they thought they had a chance. They tried to go for the steal, but they also, despite having an Echo Slam, a Ravage, you would think that Team Fat would be very strong for Secret, but. It feels like, is that Courier? Whoa, that was close. Yeah, Will he get on the way back? Yeah, he is going to get it, so nice. the item's got delivered at least. And but not V, they're the ones but it's right. By the way, here's the two effect going up on somebody. That would be tight under again. He was in phase, but the second ward spotted him. He's trying to get out of here. He's going to be muted up, though. Nothing he could do other than accept death at this point. Not V gets even more of a lead once again. And if they catch mid one, don't tell me they're going to catch mid one as well. They know he's over here. He has to TP quickly. He will get out. I'll be making statements, though. Yeah, they are. I like how, like you said, they they have those big team fight abilities, but still, you you don't want to fight into like just spamming marches and and rockets, even lasers. Once he gets that agnums, he did go aether. Okay, some people like ags before aether lens, but I think it's most common to go aether into ags. Mm -hmm. So going back to the point, though, yeah, is that really it? Is it the Tinker presence that's making so. Secret kind of scared to fight these team fights? Yeah, because they, they can't find. Dendi's positioning has been perfect all game. Uh, Lena hasn't been able to just Yules and combo him. Even the CK can't blink find him. It's just been perfect positioning from Dendi. Jaro making the use of that as well. Yeah, they're just running at them now. March, they can't find into it. The Fiend's Grip locking down Lena. It's a full lockdown. It's not going to be stopped. The homie missile connects. She's there for 50 seconds. No buyback. Puppy Damn. goes down. Double kill coming up for Crystallize. And oh. they're going to keep this push going. Fonts is in trouble once again. He has a Ravage, but we'll even use it. Probably not. What will it do? Jaro Crop, you're going to go. save the last second. And Crystallize will manage to serve five. What a save right there. The Aegis was still up, but they keep the Aegis up. Dendi, however, okay. went a little bit too far as he gets pulled in by that Reality Rift and they at least finish off him. So some positive for Secret at the end of it, and maybe more. Yap got going in with the Echo Slam. We'll finish off for the Aegis kill, but at what cost for him now? They're looking to turn. The Nightmare's taken off initially, and the Fissure will prevent them from going further. I still think overall Navi fairly happy with that exchange. Oh yeah, because I mean, all their lanes were pushed in that whole time, so they didn't lose anything. They got a tier one as well as four kills on two of the big heroes, Fada as well as Lina. Now look at Crystallize. He is just farming up. He is a Maelstrom, by the way, wow. in his stash. Ag's Maelstrom. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't see I'm not saying bad or good. I, I think it's going to be good. I mean, if he's is, picking up. He's playing so good this game. Yeah. He could just go. I mean, he could have gone second item nullifier and I'd be fine with it. Well, it's interesting the way he's playing, too, because obviously he's playing, it seems like, and it makes sense for a lot of this early aggression, right? Like, yeah. they have a comfy thing going right now at 24 and a half minutes in. Get items that are going to naturally kind of help that as far as you're pushing, especially. Definitely Maelstrom helps clear those creep waves very quickly, of yep. course, and the illusions for that matter of CK. Yep. I, know, I was wrong in the beginning. This dooming of the tide before he gets Ravage off has been perfect. <laughs> I mean, he did get it off that last time, and they yeah. had Doom on him. Anyways, but they've doomed him three times now with three Dooms, and it's paid off for him because obviously you can't crack and shell Doom off, thank God. But man, now this, this guy's getting tanky. Doom is 2K HP. He's just running around. No armor, though. That's that's the thing. This Lena, once yeah. once Lena gets higher levels, she is going to be doing a ton of damage. And look at she is still second in net worth along with CK. True. Yeah, that you, we cannot overlook that. That is a good point. As much as we're upselling Navi, and for good reason, it's, it's Secret's still definitely in this game. It's only 2,000 net worth lead. It's, again, they still have that counterplay initiation. We, we saw the Echo Slam to at least kill the Aegis last fight, but we've really yet to see it in a full fight take place so uh, there is that going for secret yep. as well but uh, definitely a uh, a lead early on right now for Navi yep. and with that Aegis they're still they're still pretty confident like not just just shoving in waves not really pushing towers but they know you know crystallize he just lost the Aegis pardon me and yeah well I mean what do you want to get to do commit a ravage to kill Dendi Tinker and then all of a sudden gyro is just gonna start running at you again you have to save your ravage now for a team fight you can't just use it for solo kills anymore what is that coming out from Doom, by the way? Because at first I thought maybe a Vanguard into a uh, Crimson Guard, but then I thought, of, well, what about a, uh, a Aeon Disc? And it, it could be that. I mean, he's just running in, right? He's like their frontliner right now. You, you look at all their heroes, right? Tinker and Gyro don't want a frontline, so Aeon Disc yeah. isn't, isn't terrible for him. Crimson Guard isn't either. I mean, either one. This is a I'm decent curious. Crimson game, but I, I think it's going to be, yeah, you, there's a lot of burst potential with the Laguna Blade, of course, and I, I could see the Aeon Disc for yeah, sure. And he just wants to run in Infernal Blade Lena. That's all he wants to do in this game. And then, right, CK, once he gets a heart, that Infernal Blade just does even more. 
And look, no, Ty didn't even get that blink, by the way. Okay, he does go blink now, but again, he had the blink after the hood. And something tells me, though, because of what happened, of course, he just felt, I gotta get the pipe. God, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared, right? Because there's Lena and C, if, if you are Navi, right? The CK is now top farm, and Lena's right up there, like, you're not gonna out DPS uh, a Lena CK True. in the late game. Once you get some MKBs up versus that laser, they're, they're just gonna melt you apart. So I think Navi, they, they do need to start and continue to make plays because if you do get to the super late game, I think Secret's just gonna out team fight you every time. It is interesting that, and, and not, not that they were wrong by any means, but uh, one thing that the panel was suggesting about Navi's draft, was it was very single target heavy, right? Now, Things like the Maelstrom, hell, the Ags on the Terracopter help that idea where you're not a little bit less single target. Of course, the March spam from Tinker. It seems like they are kind of making up for that. As Puppy Middle land, that was a solo kill attempt from General. It's going to come up shy. Glimmer Cape, pretty strong item. Keeps him alive. Crystallize actually dropping fast. There's that first damage. Turn from Ace, but it's not enough for fun damage. And now Ace in trouble himself. Crystallize may end up going down to the end. Does plenty in return, though. Ace getting low. General trying to finish him off. Ace is somehow still locked on the pipe. Finally finished off by the laser as the Ravage connects on Beast Match. To take him out, Vata tanky enough for now, but the rocket spam still happening. Dendi, he's Ooh. still doing plenty of damage. Puppy, yes. that glimmer cape again coming into play. Nice job with the disruption, barely keeps himself alive. They do lose their shaker off to the right hand side. Vata now manning up against the Bane as well as Lil. That ain't gonna work. He eventually is gonna fall right here, most likely. Anchor smash keeping him alive a little bit longer as I say that, but the nightmare comes out. And I got it. Oh my god, he blinks away. Are you kidding me? He is still alive. Oh. <laughs> what a beefy target that he is. Dendi, I don't think he's killing him, especially with that pipe on him now. Probably not. Dendi, uh, uh, one little mistake there by Dendi. He TP'd to a melee creep instead of a, a range creep, and it died to the creeps, or else oh, okay. that would have been a very easy kill. But uh, that's a one fight from Navi. You you lose your gyro, but now look at the net worth. That, that, the, that was an Aghanims picked up. That was the first showing of the Aghanims for the Tinker, and that laser just hits on three of them twice mm -hmm. and just melts them down. And Well, CK, guess what? Even if you have that BKB, your illusions are still going to get lasered. And that's, they're not going to feel very good. That's a good point. Now, thinking back to it, yeah, the illusions weren't even really there, and I'm guessing because they got killed off pretty quickly. Something else I really noticed about the last fight, too, was the Ravage was very late. Now, I don't know yeah. if that was Fada, you know, getting zoned out, or he just got there late, whatever the case. It was. I would think he would want it to be there sooner. Yeah, I think, uh, obviously, Chaos is going to favor Navi, because you just look at Secret's heroes, and it looks like Lena. Uh, too deep. Shrine up. Yep. You don't want to really commit. You do see the Tinker TP onto the Beastmaster creeps there. Doesn't get it, but... I mean, Secret, they have all these abilities. They're very good when everyone's clumped up. When everyone's spread out like that, that's when Dendi shines. He's just going to be spamming his spells everywhere, and Secret's like, well, when do I Ravage? When do I Echo Slam? No mm -hmm. one's together. Yeah, did he even Echo Slam the last fight? I haven't seen yeah, it yet. I don't know. Yeah, we, we, the, the only time that I really remember seeing it was that bottom kill for the yeah. Ages, like I said earlier, so... Glimmer Cape, by the way, again, against a Tinker, clearly a very powerful item, and we did see that despite in a losing fight effort of sorts for Secret, that it was good for Puppy there. Yep, was. If they just get the, I, I think they saw that he pinged out the book three during it, he was like the melee unit. Once the book three gets on that Glimmer Cape, it's just going to be useless, so. True. And as well, you might, I mean, honestly, Navi might think about getting a gem for this next Roche and just clearing out the entire map. You have the Beastmaster as well, just controlling the map. I'm still not. I mean, Secret, they, they just have the team fight. You, you see Navi constantly win this, but all it takes is one good Echo Slam, one good Ravage, and all of a sudden, Secret's taking a Roche. Yeah, it's... I think that, that it goes back to the ultimate point that it, this game is not really in control by either team necessarily. This isn't either team's game to lose. It's It could definitely swing either way. Really, that initiation going to be the biggest key. The heart finish on Chaos Knight, obviously a very good item. 4,300 life now with that, but another Hello. mute on a Tidehunter. How does he keep finding these mutes on him, man? It's not might not kill him in the end. Doesn't look like it. They will get a tier two, but they have to back out immediately after, I think. Okay, he okay. is going to live, but as you said, now he has the Ravage. Obviously, they know that, and they are starting to back off. They get the tower kill, and that'll be it for Navi. Still not terrible. I mean, all you really committed right there was the Doom, which isn't that bad. Obviously, you want it, but now you're just going to let Dendi push in waves, and you're just going to sit back a little bit and wait for that next Roche, which is up, actually. Lil's on point, man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's, uh, he is really making this a very frustrating game for Vata playing that Tidehunter. Yeah. And we do see it is going to be a Crimson Guard, actually. So, again, we were both curious. And okay, Crimson is. Guard is a strong item against CK, especially. So. And I looked dumb earlier when I didn't say you should just be dooming the Tide, because it makes the most <laughs> sense. I mean, I didn't need that to make me look dumb. I already do that plenty. No, but... no. Come on, Grant. No, I meant physically. I looked dumb. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But middle, here we go. That's gonna be finally the, that is the second tier one. That is it. 
Secret has had uh, a lot of trouble pushing, but possibly a, a Roche? They can't do it because that Centaur's there, and now look at this. Waves pushed in. Yeah, they can't do much. You know, oh I was my gonna... god, the damage to that tower. Yeah, look at it. They, the they siege have units. to get back. Fata oh, will. And, and he missed one of them with the, the anchor smash. A so little, little more damage. damage. Yep. Yeah, it's going to get about a third of its life or so. Good, uh, good mm. creep push there for Navi. God, I love that. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Tinker has Shiva. Shiva, well, just about finished. Yeah, we'll see if he purchased it. Gonna buy back, of course, is important, but Shiva's is another fantastic item. We're talking about the Crimson Guard, another great item against specifically the Chaos Net, of course. So they're definitely building for that idea too now. And he, um, and he went interesting. He went the ten armor instead of the the eight March of the Machine damage on Tinker. So he's gonna have that Shiva as well. He's actually gonna be super tanky. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the the most HP, but that armor. Oh, he'd have about thirty. Vizier just thrown out. General, him and his army is not necessarily going to get caught. Obviously, Roshan is up, so both teams in the area. Another one wants to give it up for free, of course. Beastmaster, an item that we don't see often. He's working on the Vlads, and who was we? It was Liquid yesterday, right? They, they yeah. had massive auras, and yeah. they, they built they that well, literally yeah. everything, even the even the mech on top of that. So we see a very similar thing happening from Navi right here, not only from their heroes, but the items that they're building, actually. That's one way. If Secret has the abilities to win the team fights, you get the items instead to try to counter them. Yeah. But they just, let's see how quick. Can they take this quick enough? They're going for it, Dendi. March coming out. They're not trying too quickly. They go in now, but that Shadow Poison spam so scary. It's annoying. Puppy's getting lower on mana, though, so he can only do that so much. Pipe going to be used. Roshan. I like how they're still not showing. They're still in smoke. But, they uh, both are. Whoa, hello. He's going to be exposed. He's got to go now, maybe. No, he's like, I don't really have the best initiation. He finally goes in with the Ravage. Still plenty of life on Roshan. They're going for the burst down on Doom. Doom, can he get the mute? Oh, no, he made it himself, actually. It looks like. No, that's never mind. That's Crimson Card. Do that for a second. He finally gets it off on Alina in the back lines at the last second. Lil's still alive, actually. Ace in the back lines by himself. Trying to put the stun out and run. That's not going to work, though. He goes on Yapter with the three man Echo Slam. Only gets the one kill, though. Not the most follow up damage. Crystallize walking it off. He's still. The life on Roche on mid one. He's trying to finish the job as the doom wears off. Will he be able to? It looks like it. He picks up the Aegis, picks up the cheese. Dandy coming to the last second, but it got the too late. He will get the Aegis to be used, however. And now they're looking to clean up onto mid one after the fact. The nightmare goes up. He ain't getting out of this one, most likely. Mid one wow. already at half life. Earthshaker's coming in, but it's just going to be too damn late. Down goes Lena, yeah. and Navi wins the fight. No doubt. Yeah, that Doom, I thought, he, I thought it was like a Lotus Orb or something initially, yeah, but that was just the yeah. Crimson Guard effect. And instead, he gets on Lena, which was a far better target. Obviously, he he canceled it on the Tide after the Ravage. And what a what a perfect fight for now. I love how patient they were. Did you see? They were taking Roche with only their creeps, and they were inside the pit. Mm -hmm. Like, Puppy kept shadow poisoning it, but he couldn't see him because they were still smoked inside the pit. That was just perfect patience as well as positioning. And man, Dendi, like, like Kyle said, you get you give him a hero that can do good in lane and just show off. And I mean, Tinker is a very big show off hero and he's doing it. He's doing that right here. Trying to get plenty out of this one. The March spam coming out once again, Puppy. Even with that Glimmer Cape, he's oh. dropping the Primal Roar. That's going to be a dieback on Lita instantly. Puffy's in trouble. He goes down. And Navi trying to commit the series for a 2-1 victory. As they're going to clean up the mid racks. Probably not going to go more than that. But that, I mean, well, at the same oh, time, 85 are. seconds. Yeah, they, they should. And they, they are. Know. Yep, they know. And Tinker, obviously, you have one of those heroes that, hey, I have no man HP. Guess what? I can just go get in and come right back. And they're going to get at least two full sets of racks. They can't get more, obviously, tier two standing bottom. But, God, that Roche fight. When, yeah. when you're against all the stun you're in against echo slam ravage as well as like light strike array and all that but instead look at that you just you win the team fight lena still one more minute before she's back up they're gonna get the bottom tier two now i might just push i was gonna say with all the r's and everything the inner beast from jet they're probably just going to keep going. And you can't without stop Lena, exactly. The Ravage is still on cooldown. Echo Slam is still on cooldown. Uh, those probably are coming up soon. Fan okay, there's the Echo Slam. Titaner's Ravage got to be here any second. And in fact, there you go. So they all have it now, but they still do not have Lena for another 30 seconds. Yep. And Satanic oh, now up as there's well. There's the Doom. I know for sure that's a Doom on Titaner right there. Puffy Glimmer Cave just doing what he can. It's not much, though. Oh, okay, he might actually survive. Fire. Blade. Fire burns. It hurts. Oh. He gets back. But meanwhile, plenty of damage back at the tower. In fact, Lil, Crimson Guard, Bob Ace, has to fall back. The laser's coming up as well. Fiends grip locked down the whole time. Finally, the pitcher comes out. But Dandy falls up with another laser span. The Ravage will be used by Fanta. Very defensive Ravage, though. 
Again, very little damage follow-up from it. Meanwhile, off to the left-hand side, Beastmaster, nicely, but the last second keeps him alive just wow. barely. General's gonna survive for now. Shadow Demon trying to finish the job. Laguna Blade committed just to make sure to get that kill as mid one, of course, is back up. LeBron Dota now maybe ran out. Probably gonna be killed off, and yes, he will. So Navi will lose a couple, but they get the... <laughs> they only have one melee racks wow. now standing between them and Mega Creeps at that, this point. That was such a slick play by General, because General did die to the Laguna Blade, but his, his wild ass Axes, axes actually finished off Yapsor, who died back technically. Oh, that was a nice play by General while going oh, down. Wow. And look at that. They are one racks away from Mega Creeps. Oh, he's not going to finish it. Down here. Not going to finish it up. That regens, Chris Slides. I don't know if you read two, two three patches ago, but Shrines <laughs> do regen, so that damage I mean, wasted like 10 seconds there. Okay, but yeah. there's the gem. They get a little later than I thought. But 16k lead. Navi is in complete control. I believe you just wait for Bane and Beastmaster to come out, and you just go again, right? You know they don't have Ravage for about 80 seconds oh, or yeah. so, and you just go back in. Clearly, it goes back to with the way they've itemized and everything. They, they are very confident fighting, even when Ravage is up. I mean, yeah. Lil will just mute him anyway, so yeah. it doesn't really matter, right? It's been so. such, such good play by. I, I want to say like individual people, but by all five of them, LeBron as well saving that Beastmaster there so he could kill Yabzor. It's True. just been a, a full team effort there. Obviously, Dendi I mean, on Tinker, he's just styling on him. Yeah, he's, he really he's is just okay, styling, I guess, yeah. yeah. And it, I mean, this CK doesn't do anything, right? You, you saw him, he ultied in uh, Fog, and then Reality rifted in, lasered immediately. No one was doing damage. Mm -hmm. None of his illusions were doing damage. It's just... Welcome to Agnum's Tinker. That's that's a thing. Lil, he is actually going the Aeon disc, funny enough. Yep, right after Crimson. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a good choice. He's just running in, right? He just wants to get Infernal Blade off on Chaos Knight now. With that heart armlet, you get Infernal Blade off, that's doing like 300 a tick. Yeah, that, that, that's plenty of damage to help try to get him down in these fights, which clearly he's already having difficulties with. Going back to the laser spam once again. Also level 25's gotta be coming up soon for multiple heroes, including Jaro and the Tinker. Something else to look forward to, if you're Na'Vi at least. If general level, they're all level 23 on the cores. Damn, and yep, here they go. They're just going in, they know there's no Ravage. All you have to be worried about, don't let Yavsor hit you with the four to five man echo. That's it, that, that's your one rule right here. Lil, Invis currently. That wombo combo of Secret, really the only thing that can win in this game at this point. If you don't like, yeah, he goes in early, only really the one target, though. They're trying to burst out the tower of look at the blade, everything. It comes in for the kill, and he's dead for 90 seconds, actually. Denny's also in trouble. He's being locked down somewhat, trying to survive, run away, pops the shield at the last second, but he goes down, too. Oh. The Fiend's grip, by the way, that was an illusion that whole time. <laughs> Well, and Secret's pushing them out now. There you go. Tinker's dead, no buyback. Charles dead, no buyback. And Na'Vi did overstep of source. Maybe not the biggest Echo Slam in terms of multiple heroes, yep. but they wanted the kill on Gyro, and they got it. And he, he solo Echo Slammed the Gyrocopter, and it just worked out. They got the Laguna off as well, and Fiend's Grip actually went on to an illusion of CK, and, well... That one Rax is standing, and it just felt like right when Beastmaster spawned, they didn't even push bottom. They waited a little bit, and they gave a, they gave him time to get his his Ravage back off cooldown, and perfectly timed by Secret. We knew I mean, it. That, that's the ammunition that they do have. Again, the Wombo Cup, as I call it, the, the big team fight. That's that's once those cooldowns are ready, it's you still have to respect it. Yep. You're still. I mean, obviously, Secret still is losing as they're they're down five Raxes, but mid one he got three of those four kills. He is going to be very rich. But where do you go? They're, they're just pushing in middle. Try to get that tier two down, it looks like. So for Na'Vi though, the biggest thing to me at least feels like don't, you know, don't panic now, right? You know, you just push bottom right there trying to claim the mega creeps. Don't get to this mindset now. Oh crap, you know, we just lost four heroes. We lost that fight. They're coming back. Let's try it again real quickly. And then, you know, fail again as a result, right? Or, or should they maybe because the ultimates you, are down. But I think you do just go for it, right? If somehow the gyro got off his BKB before that Echo Slam came out, they just win the fight immediately. Okay. They, they literally win the game right there. But because Yapsor, he just, he's like, they're not going to expect it. Boom, goes in. And now, well, CK has the MKB. So that laser, not quite as effective anymore. Yeah. Tidy's working on a refresher, still a bit off of it, 2,800 gold saved up, so yeah, definitely still a chunk of gold needed. But if he can manage that, of course, that's going to be a very big item, but it looks like, like you're right here, Grant. Navi just resetting. I mean, they, they, they lose the super light game, right? If they lose one more team fight, you now have a six-slotted Lena and oh, yeah. CK, and you, oh, yeah. you, you pretty much just lose so the game if you lose So maybe you are panicked this. a little bit. I, I think, you, I think <laughs> you're, you're panicked in a way where you know you're on a timer yourself. Like, you're somehow up five Raxes, but you're like, oh, mid one with the, the fiery soul talent? Uh-oh. Well, yeah. this could go downhill. They, they could also wait for next Roche. Well, they're they're kind of cleaning out. They're, they're counter-warding Roshan. It's, we're going to find out very shortly here. 
how long it's going to be. So they're at least going to kill a shrine in the process. There is still that top shrine up. Didn't finish it. If this is a, yeah. <laughs> if this is a very fast Roshan, you know that that's where, of course, Navi. But if this is like a two and a half minute Roshan, then we might be waiting a little bit. Yeah, this could definitely be a longer game, and that's where Secret could definitely find their opening as well. So everything is up, by the way, as far as cooldowns are concerned. You have Ravage, you have Echo Slam, of course. So those are the big ones. Roshan, it's it's going to be a fast one. That timer is ticking quickly. It is. It looks like about 20 seconds, if that. And well. Bada has ulti up, so does Earth Shaker. This this could be another big fight. We'll see if, if Secret gets baited in again by that nice smoke play by Navi or if they play a little bit more aggressively. Well, so if you are Navi here, do you just go right for Roshan? But again, that, that means you're clumped up. You are dealing with an Echo Rabbit. It is scary. You need vision on either the on pretty much any hero. If you have vision on any of these heroes with a Hawk plus that gem, well, they're just going to go in. They, <laughs> they do have vision. They, they saw the vision bottom. They see middle, right? You see that uh, Lena is top. Yeah, yeah this is a free rope. It is Lina's free. top. You're right. That, that's good. As long as you have vision on at least one hero, you're, you're fine doing this. Okay. And they have vision on two. Wait, this is a refresher, right? Yeah, this is, is a refresher. refresher. Who do they give that to? Uh, it could be Beastmaster, Double Roar, or you could just have Gyrocopter. No. Not Tinker. Doom. Probably. Doom picks it up for yeah, his Doom. Doom. That's fine. Uh, obviously, yeah, I don't know why we were discussing that Doom. Double Doom is just too good with the and disc as well. So are they just going to push in or are they going to go for a pickoff somewhere? That's the real question because Doom is super under leveled. So he's only level 17. He's just been <laughs> running. He's been he's like the only one dying in these team fights for Navi for the most part. And oh, well, speaking of that, he's by himself. He's going to be found. Yep. He's, I, 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 does he have a buyback and disc proc? There's no one nearby and they real secret realizes like, oh, this is a free kill. Well, luckily, he's only level 17, so it's 50 <laughs> seconds. He has the, the buyback as well, yeah. but as long as Navi just keeps these lanes pushed in, and luckily, they do take the, the racks, obviously, middle and top, so they're naturally pushed in, and Secret can't really get anything off of this. It's wondering, Gyrocopter, we haven't talked a lot about his items. We've seen it a couple times. Obviously, he's had a Satanic for a little bit. He is trying to now build into that Mjolnir, so it, upgrading the Maelstrom. It, it, he ends on the quick buy, but I think he might be going Butterfly, even though they do have okay. MKBs. It is a lot of damage. Maybe not against the MKBs, though. We'll see. He's yeah. just, he might just save till 7K and be like, which one do I want? Save mm -hmm. buyback plus one item. And again, I know that buyback change. Hold that thought, though. This could be a big fight breaking out right here. Um, but we are getting to the point of the game with the cords, especially. That's where that buyback change is hurting them as far as the amount of gold that you need. Yeah. Definitely. So it's 3,000 plus in some cases. You make sure you have. So no interaction there. They kind of just watch after each other, but uh, not finding the initiation. But again, Navi is working with everything from Roshan, the Refresher Shara, the Chiefs. I guess level 25. Dendi is level 25 now. Um, I know Jara was also pretty close, so. Maybe those are some keys. Is there a big item that's still coming out, perhaps? Doesn't really look like it. The uh, refresher shard on Doom is, is good enough, and it looks like they might want to just go for it again. They might slowly do it this time instead of just, hey, I'm Gyro, I'm just going to run at the hill, and oh, well, there's an Echo Slam, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. See? Looks like they're just, I mean, they're going to play around bottom, obviously. You just don't know how hard they're going to commit. Yeah, yeah sirs. He's... <laughs> He's scouting. He's got that shadow amulet. <laughs> uh, double damage on Lena. You definitely don't want to take this Ooh. fight right now if you're the Radiant. Wait till that goes at least. And yeah, I think this game's just gonna slow down because obviously Secret. They win one team fight. I think they just they, whoever wins this next team fight. It feels like obviously they're gonna get megas if Navi wins the team fight. Mm -hmm. But if Secret wins it, this Lena and CK can destroy your base just as quick. Shadow Demon is pretty good at split pushing. Whoa, but... whoa! Is he? At, he's gonna find him. No, no. Uh, LeBron. <gasps> Oh, the path thing. I think That's he awkward. I think he right clicked like at the very back of the trees. That's uh, what happened. And then it just it pulled him back and he wasn't on his own hero right there. Hmm. That, would been, that would have been a pretty nice pick up. Yeah, my bad. It's OK, LeBron. <laughs> I we've all had pathing problems in Dota one time or another. It definitely happens. And, you know, as a spectator, it's hard to it's hard to uh, uh, you, you, we have to laugh vision yeah. and everything. But he does not. Yeah, he, he doesn't, so even he, I'm sure would say it was a bit of a misplay, but at the same yeah. time, it, it, it happens. Um, three homing missile charges, all right. What did they notice? Oh, yeah, up. three homing, but also Gyrocopter, speaking of him, he was actually going an Aeon disc, by the way. Was, okay. We saw the... I think it's smart. I mean, a lot of people are saying in the super late game, you just get five Aeon discs on your team, and yeah. the initial burst is just gone. Okay. He, he, he like finished the owner. has one as well. That's true. Yeah, he's had that for a little bit. Everyone just had it. Yeah. Beyond disc late game, it's might as well, right? So it's uh, it does take up that inventory slot, but if it means the difference between you 
actually living in that upfront burst and not, then of course it's it's going to be a good investment. And we'll see if there's, because nullifiers after the Aeon Disc is proc, you can nullify it off after. So if you do like immediately, True. we'll see if, if people want to pick it up, but it's going to be tough. All right. See, he doesn't have it yet. They're just putting all their creeps on it. He does have an Aegis, though. You're right, though. They're just trying to go all out on that rack from a distance. Sort of the flat cannon. Minimal's low. Wow. He gets very low there. Begin me, Pop, and Crystallize. A sees in no man's end. He does not want to be here. The Fiends get blocked the in the doom. They cannot stop at the Doom. Mama Titan and Kuna Ravages are real. He buys back immediately, but they're going to kill Ace, and he's dead for 90 seconds. No buyback, Lil. He's just dropped it up in the back lines. He has another Doom for Tide Hunter. Oh. There's the Refractor right there. They kill the Rex. The Mega Creeps are coming out. And Titan is like, Are you freaking kidding me? I can't even play my damn hero this game. Doom, Yule's on up, he's fine for now. Denny from a distance, just spamming the rockets and the lasers and everything else. They finally finish off Doom. Mid one, remember, this would be a dieback if he goes down. He BKBs though, and he's gonna hurricane pack the Bane. Uh, nice. Over the Nightmare will keep himself alive a little bit longer. Be a distraction, but the creeps meanwhile, they're beating another tier. How is the Bronze still alive? Are you kidding me? Double kill for mid one. Finally coming out, but the tier four towers, they're taking so much damage. Multiple buybacks, actually Bane buys back. Navi's trying to finish it right here, right now. Yeah, they, they know, they know. CK would have bought back right now if he had it, and I think they know he doesn't have it because of that, and they're just gonna go all in. I like well, it. Might as well, what can they do? They still have Ravage, they still have Echo it's Slam, though, so there is over. that, but the pipe coming out. Navi trying to make it a 2-1. Yeah, it's their last stand right here. Goes for the initiation on a Denny. Wow. There's the follow with the Ravage. They will kill the Tinker. The Ancient actually still has above Half-Life currently. Buyback from Tinker, though. They use their up front. They kill Lena. She's staying dead. Fata, all that it can do is run at them an Anchor Smash. That should do it. Navi is going to take out Secret 2 wow. in the group what stages. A, oh, what a perfectly played game. Well, I mean, besides that one fight bottom, but almost perfectly played by Navi. That was... Just look at that. Look at, look at that. That's what I like to see. I want to see the shrug. Fives. I want to see the shrug nah, one more time. Look, there ain't come no on. shrug. Look at <laughs> Remember when he was doing...